Hello, folks. Jeff Eubanks. Today, I am smoking Cornell and Deal dark chocolate. And uh, the pipe that my son gave me for Christmas, I think, last year. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing. Long time no see. I uh, haven't made a video in several weeks. Kind of a strange situation I've gone through over the last few weeks. I guess the last video I made was about harvesting my honey. And that's been almost a month ago. We did that July 4th. Uh, we got finished harvesting honey. And I went out to uh, check on my little garden, which is done. We've had awful weather. We have had a significant amount of rain. Everything has turned green, green, and started growing again, except of course the garden is shot. My squash, my vertical growing squash did great, except just it didn't, it didn't produce. Uh, I've come to the realization that the dirt in that raised bed is crap. Got to be redone. But anyway, I digress. After harvesting honey, I went out to check on said garden. And uh, I uh, was bending down, looking, and I looked up under the leaves of that vertically grown squash. And when I stood up, my whole world just went, whoa. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, I'll, walk right, I'll be right back. Well, I haven't up here today. So, I didn't feel right for a while. And, uh, just kept getting worse. Finally, I made an appointment with my doctor. And, uh, Told him I didn't know what was going on. Went to the doctor. They want to know, well, you know, of course I had to tell them over the phone what was going on. I said, I just feel swimmy headed, a little nauseous. So I was nauseous. And uh, so I went to the doctor and I, she once again asked me what's going on. I said, doc, if I didn't know better. I swear I seasick, deep sea fish and seasick. I said, I never have thrown up from being seasick, but I've gotten so close. <laughs> but that's how I feel, just everything. So she looked in the ear, she said, well, your eardrums are infected. I said, but my ears aren't hurting. She said, well, you've got a ear infection. And honestly, even to this day, I've not had any pain in my ear. Ears. Uh, but yeah, um, took a week's worth of amoxicillin. Finally got over the, the nauseousness feeling um, the, um, they prescribed me some medication for being nauseous. Guess what one of the side effects was? Dizziness. I didn't take it. So, uh, I'm still, I'm like 95%. I, I still don't feel exactly right. But from what I understand, adults and ear infections can take a while to work themselves out. Now, I can take a Dramamine. And I'm fine. So I still got some fluid or something in there somewhere. If it don't get better, I probably need to go see ENT. But that leads me to my next story. I made a video back some time ago after I was diagnosed with another problem. Um, cervical stenosis. In my neck. I thought I had a pinched nerve. This hand, this arm, these two fingers right here. Oh, man. I went on Dr. Google. I had all the symptoms of a pinched nerve. So I go to the, uh, uh, them, them folks what look at stuff like that. I can't remember the name. Right? No, doctors, I can't remember. It'll come to me and I'll throw it out there. And they did x-rays my neck and said, well, you have uh, 
this deterioration, but at your age, which is 57, and uh, you know, your, your labor intensive lifestyle, that makes sense. Uh, but we're gonna do an MRI, just to make sure. So, went and did the MRI, and when they called me back in for the MRI reading, uh, the doctor, she had a, uh, a print off of the side view, or I forget those, but I would call it a, a, a sectional view, a machinist would call it a sectional view of my spine from my shoulders up. And as soon as I looked at that, I thought, that can't be good because uh, in the center of my spine, I could see nodules pointing out, white nodules pointing inward towards where your spinal column works. And that was the first thing she pointed out. She said, now I want you to look at that. I said, I've already seen that. <laughs> I said, that's not good, is it? She said, no, that's cervical stenosis. It's where you get bone spurs or calcium deposits, whatever, build up on the inside of your spine. It pushes the inside of your spine and it pushes against your spinal cord, which inflames nerves. Actually, all the way down into my, my feet. And so they first started talking about surgery. I said, uh-uh, we ain't doing surgery. And then she started about doing injections. I said, injections? She said, yeah, that's where we put a shot in, uh, into your spine. I said, no, we're not doing it either. And then she said something about some medication. And I said, what kind of medication? She said, gabapentin. Now, I never had taken it, and I hope I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Well, so I got my gabapentin. And guess what? I can't take it correctly. I take one pill, I'm out for like 14 hours. And when I say out, I mean, you know, I'm I'm as groggy as I can be. I sleep like a log. I mean, trying to wake up at four o'clock in the morning is like raising the dead. And, you know, take one at six or 6.30 with supper, it would be nine o'clock the next morning before I actually felt like, hey, I'm awake. Hey, I'm at work. So I can't take that stuff. And then she gave me some more stuff, anti-inflammatory. That wasn't doing no good. I got, I get more results from, Advil, and uh, so um, I'm not smoking this at all. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I talk too much. So uh, I have decided to do the injections in my spine because you know it started tingling down into my feet, and uh, we ain't doing that stuff either. I mean, I, I you know, it's just yeah, this hand, oh, hurts. So uh, yeah, I had a rough couple of weeks here, and other things going on in life that. I need not talk about it. it don't make any difference. Uh, but, you know, just life is happening. And uh, I'll just be honest with you. I'm kind of fed up with YouTube. Uh, uh, it's just, uh, you know, uh, I guess the older you get, things in your, your life tee you off a lot worse than they used to. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we messed up. We did. We scheduled our vacation for the fall. We should have scheduled it late spring, early summer. So it's been a long time since we got away from everything. And me and my wife both have decided that's not gonna happen next year. <laughs> but yeah, um, and of course then, like I said, we've gotten an ample amount of rain the last three weeks. So the grass has kicked into overdrive. And I was out there yesterday with the old John Deere. Broke my belt what makes the, the cutter spin. I go up there to the Home Depot where I bought it. $64. That's what they call build back better, folks. $64 for a belt. So right now I've got it laying out in the sun, letting it get softened up, malleable, so I can try to figure out through the diagram right here, how to put that thing back on. Now, I am in the basement garage. Oh, glory, she's a fly. Uh, I had to take dad's truck, have some work done on it. Brake calipers froze up on it. It's a 95 model. He's been dead five and a half years. I may have put 500 miles on it. So it's, it's something I, I can't get rid of. I just can't. Uh, we had a baby goats born. I, I feel sure that I said something about that. Well, 
The mama goat got sick and within five days she died. I don't know. I think it was probably intestinal parasites. Uh, probably stress on trying to raise twin babies at 100 degree temperatures, which we normally didn't have. But she went from good on one Friday to the following Sunday dead. And I did everything I possibly knew of. I, I pushed fluids down her throat. I gave her two different type of worm medicines. I gave her antibiotics and she just would not get better. I took uh, Cairo syrup. I would push just Cairo syrup down her throat, trying to get her better, and she just she just didn't. So now my bride is the mother to two bouncing baby goats, and they just love her to death. We need to get video of that. But once again, I talk about not being very impressed with YouTube anymore. Another stage in life I'm going through, I guess. I don't know. So I just thought I'd make a quick little check-in with y'all. If, if you're worried about me, nobody's called, so I guess y'all feel I'm cool. Now, Buff, if you're watching this, I know me and you communicate through the waste book. You know I'm all right. I know you're all right. So anyhow, that's one of my dear friends. So I just thought I'd jump on here and make a quick look. Well, it's not quick. I'm at 11 minutes, so I guess I better get off here. Going out to dinner tonight with a couple friends of ours. We ain't been got together, got together with them in a while. We're going to go out to dinner with them. And, uh, of course, my bride's gone to do the grocery thing. And I still got yard work to do. Uh, right now, I'm feeling pretty good. Everything's kind of nice and nice and even. Nothing's doing this number. But I have a feeling, bending over, trying to look up under that darn lawnmower, ain't going to go well. So, anyway, if. You have enjoyed this video. I'm glad you have. This is Jeff Eubanks signing off. Uh, possibly signing off. I mean, I, I've, I've uh, you, you know, the thing with YouTube, you, you've got to have videos. And uh, I'm kind of tired of making them. I really am. Kind of tired of making them. Um, that's, the, that's, the, that's my station in life right now. There's a lot of things going on in my life I'm just kind of tired of. And I guess it's because I'm 57. I mean, you know, uh, every every station of life, season of life you go through, you have ups and downs. And, uh, you know, it's just me, mama, and the pups now. Uh, the kids have moved out and moved off and moved on. And uh, kind of, kinda, I mean, me and my wife, we get along fine. We've been married 30 years. I think we're happier today than we were in the first year. But it's the first time we've ever been empty nesters. We got married Cameron was four. So we've had youngins running around here all our life. And now all we got is two fur babies upstairs. And they are a handful from time to time. So, uh, but hey, it's going to be all right. So if you don't see me on YouTube, don't worry about it. If you see me, I just get a wire hair, wild hair to make a video. So uh, y'all take care. And uh, I'll be seeing you around. Just probably not as much as they used to. And some of you may be glad of that. Some of you may not. Give me a like. I appreciate it. Jeff, you. Thanks. Bye-bye.